five to Norse. So the Illawarra side restart this match. And in a first half exhibition that uh, virtually had no life in it, a three out of 10 on the old rating scale. I certainly hope that for the crowd supporters, uh, for the supporters here this afternoon, they, the second half is, is 10 times better than uh, that first 40 minutes. Illawarra on the attack. And this is Michael Patterson brought down inside the uh, North Sydney 22. Mackey gives it away to Kelly. Kelly gives it away to uh, Worthington. So Kim Patrick goes into uh, the, the dummy half row, fires it out to Kelly. Kelly gives it away to Mackey. Mackey gives it on to Patterson, a short one to Hetherington. Hetherington running into a dead end and being asked to uh, play the ball. Back it goes to Kelly. Kelly decides to uh, kick it across field. Conlon takes it. And then he uh, manages to get free of the uh, attempted tackle of Kelly. So Conlon to play this ball about eight metres out from North Sydney line. Harry Kelly goes for a run from dummy half. He's brought down over the top by uh, Brian Hetherington, Sean O'Connor down below. North Sydney. This is uh, the big prop forward, Gary Dunbar. Honeywood throws it back to Lyons. Lyons in turn picks up the second row of Mayo. And Mayo's uh, claimed by two Illawarra players. So Mayo gets to his feet. Lyons at dummy half. Fires it out to McCaffrey. McCaffrey gives it to Mayo. Mayo gives a nice ball away to a support in Fred Teasdall. Teasdall up over halfway. But then his pass has been deflected by an Illawarra player who in turn has managed to knock the ball on. So a scrum to pack down. A good break by North Sydney. A nice pass from uh, Peter Mayo that found uh, Fred Teasdall. So McCaffrey to feed this uh, ball into the scrum. One by North Sydney and McCaffrey comes away with it. But he's going to be brought down by Michael Patterson. Gets to his feet now and uh, North Sydney trying to work this ball. This is uh, Dunbar who's thrown the ball backwards. It's going to be fallen on by uh, Lyons, the lock forward and skipper of the Bears. Brockwell gives the ball away to a support. And Honeywood it is who will be uh, asked to play the ball. Lyons a dummy half. Now away to McCaffrey. McCaffrey tries to work the blind side of the field but couldn't get the pass away. So North Sydney now putting uh, the pressure on the Illawarra defence as Fred Teastall tries to get inside the man. Many just unload the ball back to Lyons. Now it's out to the prop forward, Hanson. And Hanson's uh, taken down below by uh, Michael Patterson over the top by Scott Greenland. And now the referee's going to award a penalty to North Sydney. So this should give the Bears a chance to put some points on the board and in fact the opening points of this match. Kelly. About to move in, right foot hits it, it's in the air and it's right between the posts. So the first points of this match go to North Sydney and the Bears lead the Illawarra Steelers by two points to nil. So Illawarra restart this match with a kickoff. And Larry Kelly brought down. 22 metres out from the North Sydney line. It's the second row of Mayo. Popped a nice pass uh, only a few minutes earlier to uh, Teasdall. He was off on a long run downfield. Mitchell Cox decides to uh, kick downfield. McPherson lets it bounce about three times and picks it up now, runs it back towards halfway. McFer McPherson met in a solid tackle from uh, Gary Dunbar. Stopped the Steelers fullback, fair dinkum in his tracks. So Willowarra now trailing by two points to nil. As Sean O'Connor goes for a run from dummy half. David Moon now for dummy half. He runs uh, back towards the, uh, the main grandstand side of North Sydney Oval. This is Mackey. Gives the ball away to Carberry. Carberry one header back to Mackey. Mackey starts to clap on the pace. Gives the ball away to Kelly. Kelly steps into the clear and still going Kelly. So Kelly brought down only about 14 metres out from the uh, North Sydney line, and this is Kim Patrick. 
Patrick fires the ball back inside to McPherson. Back it goes to Worthington. Worthington to Sean O'Connor. And O'Connor has scored under the post. Well, after going through a first half that was scoreless, North Sydney opened the scoring at the fourth minute with a penalty goal. And now the uh, Steelers hooker has scored under the post at the five Sorry, minute mark. So McPherson moves in. And it's right between the posts. So the Illawarra Steelers leading North Sydney by six points to two. Six two in favour of the Steelers. And 17 minutes. It's been won by the Steelers. And McPherson comes into the back line, finds the ball back around to Kelly. Kelly steps into the clear. Good run by Kelly. Finally brought down. 23 metres out from the North Sydney line. Kelly gets to his feet. Now it's with Mackey. Mackey gives it away to uh, Patterson. Patterson tries to. Uh, Get the arms free, couldn't do so. Sean O'Connor from dummy half, fires it back to Scott Greenland. Greenland still going. Greenland with the left ankle very heavily taped, as you can see. Gets to his feet, 15 metres out from the line. Now this is Michael Patterson. The Illawarra camp have lost their past 10 matches. So uh, it's been a long time between drinks for the Steelers as Kelly pops the pass out. Now this is uh, Steve Worthington trying to link up with support. Worthington will score. Well, North Sydney hung off the uh, Steelers pop forward. And Worthington has been able to go over and score in the 18th minute of the second half. Five for Illawarra to number 11, Steve Worthington. So Illawarra now lead the Bears by 10 points to two. McPherson has the ball placed. Only about 10 metres off centre, moves in. Right foot hits it, and, but it's flagged away. So North Sydney leading, or North Sydney trailing, sorry, by 10 points to two. So Illawarra with their, their tails up, leading 10 points to two. As Selby takes a, a bit of pulling down from the North Sydney defence. Selby gets to his feet. Sean O'Connor goes for a run by Gs. If the uh, Steelers can hang on and win this match, as I said, uh, they've lost their previous 10 starts. And certainly make a, a pretty happy trip home to Wollongong for the coach and the 13 players and their supporters that have tripped up to North Sydney Oval this afternoon. It's Worthington, stands in the tackle, unloads the ball away to Kelly. Kelly passes it out to Patterson. Patterson hangs on to it, he's showing it left and right. He picks up McPherson on 100 mile an hour up the centre. McPherson turns it back to Kelly. Kelly tries to run and link up with his support, but he can't get the hands free. Good defence from North Sydney. Conlon moved in and smothered the Steelers' halfback. So now the Steelers work it back. And this is uh, Selby, the second rower. But he's brought down. Only about 10 metres out from the line. Back it goes to Kelly. Kelly decides to have a drop at field goal. It's going to come down short. And Conlon uh, takes it for North Sydney. So Norse now to run it out. This is Fred Teestall. Teestall's put the ball down. Illawarra's fallen on it. This could be a costly mistake as McPherson goes for a run from dummy half. The Steelers lead by 10 points to two. We've had 24 minutes. Now this is David Moon running from dummy half. The Illawarra side have scored two tries to nil. Only about five metres out from the line and in centre field. Kelly floats it out to uh, Carberry. Carberry met by uh, three North Sydney defenders. And Carberry gets to his feet, O'Connor, back it goes to Kelly. Kelly fires it back to Mackey. Mackey gives it to Kim Patrick. Patrick turns it back on the inside, but it's been put down by Patterson. The ball's on the ground. And David Moon picks it up. Balls on it. He'd have to be confident. Uh, have to be pretty keen to claim that as a try. The ball was knocked down and went forward. But David Moon just thought he'd uh, just in case the referee hadn't seen it. I don't know what he thought Barry Barnes was doing at that time. So North's come up with a scrum win right on their line. And this is Simon Brockwell. He's got a little bit of room to move, but uh, nicely brought down. Mackey was there to uh, bring the uh, North Sydney centre down. This is Shepard. Shepard uh, brought down inside the North Sydney. 22, a shocking pass from North Sydney. Gee, they're really making it hard for themselves with passes like that. As Conlon is brought down about 16 metres out from the North Sydney line. So the ball's on the ground, and I think uh, the prop forward for the Steelers, Scott Greenland's fallen on it. 
But uh, referee Barry Barnes has indicated not on both ways, so a scrum to pack down. 26 minutes gone by the second half. 10 points to two in favour of the Steelers, and Illawarra come up with a scrum win as Kelly ducks under a tackle. But he uh, couldn't hang on to his footing. Put down about 10 metres out from the line. Mackie runs into uh, Honeywood, and Mackie's still going. And I think Mackie may have scored. He has. He's crossed the line. McPherson about to move in. Our camera's behind this one. The kick's right over the dot. So Illawarra go to a 16 points to, to two lead. The Illawarra side leads by 16 points to two. They've scored three tries. All three tries coming in the second half of this match after both sides were locked together at nil all at half time. So this is uh, Rod Reddy. Getting his first touch of the ball in first grade. Reddy played in the uh, victorious uh, Illawarra reserve grade side. Steelers won the reserve grade match 22-16. The Bears won the under 23s 12-8. with 30 minutes as uh, Illawarra. This is Worthington who's been able to go across again for another try. Well, that try came from absolutely nothing. Some shoddy defence from North Sydney. McPherson has the ball placed, moves in, right foot hits it, it's in the air, it's sailing towards the post, but it's going to be flagged away. So two from four for Wayne McPherson and the Steelers lead by 20 points to two as we're into the final 10 minutes of this match. Ball comes down about 10 metres, 12 metres out from the Illawarra line. McPherson uh, picks it up, takes it another couple of metres and is brought down by Mayo with the assistance of Mitchell Cox. Jason Moon reaches the 22 of uh, the Illawarra side. The Steelers well and truly on top now. 20 points to two, four tries in the second half for Illawarra. Hetherington gets to his feet and uh, plays the ball. And Scott Greenland will be, in fact, it's Rod Reddy who's wrestled to the ground. Sean O'Connor plays a pass, long pass back now, and Carberry has it, but he's uh, met by some solid defence this time from North Sydney. And Carberry in centre field, well, he's trying to get to his feet. Lucky there wasn't a penalty then. As Kelly decides to... Uh, Get the game back downfield. Big kick downfield by Kelly to be taken now by Conlon. Has Shepard outside him, but Conlon decides to take on the Illawarra defence. <laughs> so North Sydney trying to work the ball out from uh, their own try line. North Sydney uh, appears set to make a replacement. Graham Jennings warming up on the sideline as North tackled in centre field and about 22 metres out from the North Sydney line. This is a long pass up to uh, the centre, Andrew Simons. Last tackle, says referee Barry Barnes and North kick downfield. David Moon takes it nicely. Now he starts to uh, run back, gets up over halfway. Still going, uh, Moon. Finally, he's been put down. Only about a metre or so inside North Sydney side of halfway. Kevin Kelly goes for a little bit of a run, then fires it out to Mackie. Mackie turns it back to uh, Kim Patrick. Patrick turns it back to Jason Moon. And Jason Moon is brought down. So Patrick goes for a good run on the uh, blind side, picks up about 10 metres. There's no dummy half. Finally, Jason Moon scampers into the position. Now it's with Worthington, who's had a big game from the Steelers, but that pass has bounced once. Patterson's got onto it. They're going backwards as Hetherington's got the ball now, jumps over Patterson, and it's finally wrestled to the ground by Brockwell. So Willowara losing a lot of ground in that uh, play the ball section. So Kelly fires it back to Reddy. Reddy uh, met in the in centre field and they put him down on the ground. Last tackle says referee Barry Barnes. Reddy gets to his feet, back to Sean O'Connor. O'Connor gives it away to Mackie. Mackie shaped the kick, now he decides to kick. Taken well by uh, McCaffrey behind the play. McCaffrey gets around uh, Patterson. 
Then he's dropped the ball, it's been picked up by Selby. Selby claps on the pace, gets inside the 22, but he's brought down. The Steelers leading by 20 points to two. Selby gets to his feet. Reddy fires it out to Kelly. Kelly floats a long one out to uh, Patterson, and Patterson can't unload the ball. He's wrapped up over the top by Simon Brockwell. So now it's Carberry. He only takes it up a couple of metres. The Steelers leading by 20 points to two. After both sides were locked together at no score at half time. A set move and Reddy comes up with it on the blind side. Brockwell and uh, Kelly put him down. So uh, Illawarra trying to uh, break this uh, North Sydney defence. They're only about a couple of metres out from the uh, line. Reddy's a dummy half. Floats it back to Kelly. Kelly decides to chip a cross field into the in-goal area. That stacks on the mill. It could be a try to Patterson. I think the referee has awarded it. Yes, a try to Michael Patterson. Try score for number one, number eight, Michael Patterson. So McPherson, that's the extras. Wayne McPherson, Illawarra 26, North Sydney 2. So North Sydney, they've had plenty of practice at this. Bring the ball back to halfway to restart the match. And would all North Sydney officials please take up their positions inside the ball the goes Thank under you. the boot of uh, Kelly. David Moon takes it in the ingold area. Then he starts to tr run the ball out, reaches uh, 15 metres. And is finally brought down by Fred Teasdor. And Graham Jennings in jumper number 23. So Reddy plays the ball and Mackie goes for a run from dummy half. The Steelers leading 26 points to two. David Moon. At 24 metres out now from the Illawarra, Illawarra line. So Kelly decides to kick the ball downfield, taken by Conlon. Conlon takes it to within about seven metres of uh, halfway, and he's finally uh, put down. So North Sydney, this is Don McKinnon. McCaffrey floats a long one out to uh, Mitchell Cox. Cox gives it away to a support. And Kelly Simons, the uh, centre, in fact, who was brought down. So Norse now working it back towards centre field. This is Alan Shepherd, And he's brought down. The Steelers leading by 26 points to two. So Hanson tries to uh, chip ahead. It's been picked up by uh, an Illawarra player. Selby, so Selby gets to his feet, plates the ball away to Jason Moon, and the winger picks up a couple of metres for Illawarra. Kim Patrick in a dummy half. The Steelers leading 26 points to two. We're only about a minute and a half away from full time. Mackey. This is Patterson, but Patterson's put the ball down while trying to uh, pick up a support. So Norse now, Teasdale gives it back to Lyons, and Lyons is put down by uh, David Moon with the aid of Brian Hetherington. So the ball has been struck out by uh, the Illawarra camp. This is Simon Brockwell. And Brockwell to play the ball. Lyons is hanging on to his head. The North Sydney halfback just walking off camera, as you can see. Honeywood fires it back to McCaffrey. McCaffrey decides to uh, kick ahead. He gets the ball. Good work by McCaffrey. Now he throws a long one out to uh, Shepard. Shepard shows it inside. He's still going. He's got support. Gives it to Lyons, and that's a good North Sydney try. So Lyons, Lyons has scored Sydney, almost Lyons. right on uh, full time. So it's 26 points to six. As Conlon around the kicker style moves into it. It's a good kick from Conlon. So there it is at full time. And after both teams were locked together at uh, no score at half time, Illawarra has recorded their first win in 11 matches. They've defeated the North Sydney Bears by 26 points to 8. Oh, so